Hey. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Dr. Arnett. Yes. And I have Dr. Whitfield. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for joining us on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. I know May is American Stroke Month. And if we could start with you, Dr. Arnett, could you tell us a personal story? Yes, just at the age of 27, I experienced a stroke. I woke up one morning, took my dog out, and when I called him back in, my speech was all garbled. And the signs and symptoms of the stroke really piled on one another over the course of the morning until by the time I reached the ER, I could no longer speak. When your brain is working like that, you may not be able to answer, how did you know your speech was garbled? Could you hear yourself? Because the brain thinks it's usually knowing what it's supposed to. That, that was what was so curious. I, I second-guessed myself, which is what a lot of people do when they're experiencing a stroke. And I thought, did I really hear that? And so it's important to know the signs and symptoms of a stroke and to act very quickly when they're present. I'd like to let my audience also know that Dr. Arnett is uh, president of the American Heart Association, and she's speaking publicly for the first time about her stroke. Dr. Arnett, you said you were 27. So was this shocking to the doctors in the ER because you, you're so young? It was shocking uh, both to me and to the doctors, but the good news is that stroke is largely treatable and beatable, and there are new uh, medicines and new devices that can be used in the, in the early hours of a stroke to really prevent brain injury. So it's really critical to get to the ER quickly. And I think that's what we're going to talk about in a minute, your app. I wanted to talk to Dr. Whitfield. Dr. Whitfield, I don't know if you could give us some idea of what a stroke really is and just a few symptoms. Yeah, there's two types of stroke. The most common is an ischemic stroke or when there's lack of blood flow to the brain. The other is a hemorrhagic stroke. Uh, again, Dr. Arnett's was a little bit different. She had a blood clotting issue. But again, most strokes are commonly uh, ischemic strokes. So that's why it's so important to get to the hospital right away. There are life-saving medical treatments and devices that can be used. We are partnered this month with, uh, with Covidian, a healthcare leader, in a Together to uh, End Stroke campaign to raise awareness. And we also have a free mobile app that you can use where you can call 911 right away if you have those warning signs. So uh, it's just so important that, that people know that, that you can call 911 to get help. So you have a small window when you have a stroke. Right. But like Dr. Um, Arnett, when you don't know you have a stroke or something like that, uh, I heard a celebrity, I think Rosie O'Donnell one time, I think she had a heart attack and she kind of like waited a couple of hours. How do you know to make this decision to go to the ER? It's always better to be safe than sorry. So the warning signs, you can think of this great acronym called FAST. Facial drooping, arm weakness, slurred speech or speech difficulties, T, time to call 911. Because the sooner you get to the ER, if you have a stroke that can be treated with these medications and devices, you can prevent many of the injuries that occur to the brain with stroke. Right. You say there's an app, uh, Dr. Whitfield said there's an app that's going to take you directly to 911. Yes, and what else will the app do? App has some information on stroke, the risk factors for stroke. Uh, and, and you can type in your zip code actually on the app and it will show you uh, places or hospitals that are within a near, nearby radius so that you can get appropriate treatment. A new study came out that showed that one third, over one third of patients do not uh, use the ambulance to get to the hospital the fastest way to get there. No pun on words, but again, fast, uh, Valder BB is so important. Uh, facial drooping, arm weakness, uh, speech difficulty, time to call 911. We can't stress that enough today. If they want to get this app, I'm sure it's downloadable uh, yes. from the App Store. Tell me about that. Yes, it's downloadable on the App Store. It's on iPhone now. will be on uh, Droid May 6th. Uh, it's free, <laughs> so go get it. There's no reason not to have it, for, especially for a bystander who could recognize those warning signs or if they're confused about it. Again, if you're confused, the best thing to do is get to the hospital quickly. Don't drive yourself uh, because the uh, EMS has an opportunity to activate uh, uh, or to alert the emergency room, and everyone's ready for you to, to come in. If you walk in, it, it, time is going to be wasted. So you've got to get there fast, and the fastest way is via the ambulance. Well, Dr. Whitfield, I think we ought to take that as professional advice. Yes, I think that's great and advice. And that's free also. advice, too, uh, Valder BB. <laughs> thank you so much. Dr. Arnett, thank you so much for sharing your story, because I know it can impact the rest of us. Everyone, when you're young, you think you're just invincible. And thank you so very much for sharing your story here on the Valder BB Show. 
Thank you, Valder. Thank you.